Hi. Hi. How can we help? My Bosch dishwasher is making a whining noise. The cycle seems to start. Can you guesstimate how old your Bosch is? And just to clarify, what's the exact model? But no water comes out. Do you plan on doing the work yourself? Let Met check the model. Anything else we should know to help you best? SGS 4012GB-07 seems to be the model type. Okay. Got it. I'm sending you to a secure page on Just Answer so you can place the $5 fully refundable deposit now. While you're filling out that form, I'll tell the appliance technician about your situation and then connect you to. Hi is the whirring noise you hear the drain pump running all the time? If you open the door and pour a jug of water in there does it drain the water out straight away? Regards. Let me check. No worries. No, the water sits in the machine. After I poured the water in, I started the cycle again and then the water drained. The noise seems to start about 3 minutes after the cycle started. I guess that's when water would usually come into the machine. Okay so when you hear the noise if you open the door is there any water in there? If you open the door does the noise stop? No water in there any time in the cycle. The noise, and cycle, stops when I open the door, as it usually would, and Therese no water in there when opened. Okay what I think this may be is the anti-flood switch in the base is activated and what it does is keeps the pump running and doesn't allow the dishwasher to fill. What you need to do is pull the dishwasher out and lie it on its back as this will allow the water to drain out from the base of the appliance. Once the water is out the flood switch will reset itself from there. So retry the dishwasher and see how it goes. Fingers crossed it's just a one-off overfill that caused this. But if it happens again then Teresa leak under there which you need to find and fix to cure the fault. So try that and see what happens and let me know. Cheers LL try that. No worries. Unfortunately that didn't work. I unplugged it, should I have let it plugged in? Lay it on its back for about a minute and restarted the cycle. Same noise, no water. No unplugging it would have been fine. Did any water come out of the base? As to the whirring noise you hear is it the drain pump you can hear or the wash motor? No water came out during that action. Not sure what's producing the noise. I'm guessing the wash motor from the timing of when the noise starts, but not 100%. Okay it's possibly it's the wash motor if it's 3 minutes. But the wash motor shouldn't come on until it's filled with water so a bit strange if it's the motor that it isn't filled with water. Are you handy at DIY repairs? If so then remove the top of the dishwasher and then remove the left hand side panel. From there you will see the plastic filling tank. Set this going on a wash and watch that tank and see if any water enters the filling tank at all and let me know. Just ingorn the muck in the top left corner you will see as that's the same on all dishwashers and won't cause any problem in there. I'll try that. 
No worries. I am not too bad at DIY, but am struggling to get the top off so I can remove the left hand panel. Frown there are two screws holding in the left panel, removed now, but no screws or visible means of removing the top. Any thoughts? If you look at the back of the top either side under there you will see two tabs. Use a screwdriver and push the tab upwards and at the same time you need to back the front of the lid backwards on whichever side you are doing first. Do this on both side and then you can remove the top. That worked. Checking the tank now. No probs. Water entered the filling tank, looks like normal functionality there, and I see water flowing internally to the machine, to the spray arms I guess. When I saw this, I thought it would run normally, but the noise started again and no water. I'll time how long the machine runs before the noise starts. Maybe that will help you identify. I started the machine. The water flows into the tank, then into the machine, then the noise starts, after 90 seconds. Okay if it's filling but then making the whirring noise then it's more than likely the wash motor faulty. As they can go we can not spray the water around at full pressure. Remove the right hand side panel and from there towards the front you will see the wash motor. Check there and see if Terry's signs of water leak. As they can have a very small leak in there which causes the motor to stall and not wash and this can then make a whirring noise. In this case the motor will need to be replaced. But this is a complete nightmare of a job and expensive fix. As you need to remove the complete metal tub to get to the motor fully and when you do fit it most of the time you get a leak so it needs to be refitted again. Plus the motors are over 100 pound mark so given it's an older model personally I don't think it's worth it but that's up to yourself on this. Not good news then. I see the motor, but no evidence of any leaks there. Perhaps the motor is still faulty but not related to a leak. Okay then, looks like we need a new dishwasher. Thanks Daniel. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.